Hey everyone, how are you doing? Here's a video from Algebra 2A class. We are working on the week 10 Desmos activity, polynomial equation challenges. In this uh, activity, you're going to learn more about how the roots of the polynomial connect up with the x-intercepts and actually connect up with the factored form of the equation. So here I am on the very first slide. And my first thing I'm supposed to do is drag point A to move the parabola so that its roots are the two open blue points. So right there are two points. I want to move this parabola so that it crosses twice right around there. Whoops. Let's get right on. Right there at 2 and an x-intercept of 6. All right. Successfully did it. First task done. What relationship do we see? So our parabola is described by this equation. f of x equals x minus 2 and x minus 6, because if I put 2 in, or if I put 6 in, I get 0, using the zero product property. So you're going to explore some of that and continue on. And now let's look at a different one. Use what we noticed on the last screen to write a function for a parabola whose roots are the two open blue points. This time I have x is 4, I get a y value of 0, and if x is 7, I get a y value of 0. Well, using the zero product property, if I have x minus 4, and if I put 4 in, I get a 0 right there. But then I have another place where there's a 0. So I'm going to have x minus 7. And both of those, if I put those x values in, it's going to make the whole function turn into 0. I'm going to continue on with another quadratic equation with two roots. But then it's going to ramp up to three roots dragging, moving around, and thinking about uh, more and more polynomials. Here you go, two roots. Is it possible? Here's one example. It is possible. Let's take a look at this one. What do we know? Rhonda wrote this function out right here. x minus 3 squared, x plus 2, x minus 1. How many roots do you think her function has? Well, I've got 1 at negative 2. I've got one at positive one, so there's two roots. I've got one at x minus three, so there's three roots, but then I've got it squared, which means there's gonna be another x minus three. I got two factors of x minus three, so that's what we call a double root. So there's three roots, three different numbers, but actually four different factors. So I think in terms of roots, there's only three different roots because there's three different numbers 3, negative 2, or 1. So you're going to work through, you're going to work through thinking about roots, polynomials, and just how all that stuff works out. Hopefully this is a good start to the activity. And let me know if you guys have any questions.